Our objective for today is to translate variable expressions, equations, and inequalities. In order to do that, we first need to look at the difference between equalities and inequalities. You recognize this symbol. Equals is the same as. 2 plus 3 equals 5 has the same value as 5. This is a symbol from geometry. Congruent means the same size and same shape. For some reason, we don't say triangles are equal. We say they're, they are congruent. They have the same size and shape. Here's another symbol from geometry you might recognize similar. It means it has the same shape. Two figures that are similar will be in proportion but uh, not necessarily the same size. And here we have our first inequality. A lot of students have a hard time telling what this symbol is. It goes back to elementary school when your teachers told you to think of it as a Pac-Man biting the big number. But without the numbers there it's kind of hard to tell what the meaning of the symbol is if you learned it that way. Uh, some other teachers maybe use an alligator or some monster biting the big number. Uh, it's not a great way to teach it because if the numbers aren't there, you can't tell what it is. So instead of doing it that way, let's come up with a new way to look at it. This symbol looks more like a G for greater than, and this symbol looks more like an L for less than. Now you can just look at the symbol and tell what its meaning is. Is less than. And if we flip that around, we get is greater than. If we put a line under it, it's is less than or equal to. And of course, if you flip that one around, you get is greater than or equal to. Here's a symbol we use a lot when we're talking about pi. Because we never know the exact value of pi, we say pi is approximately equal to 3.14. And then here's another one, not equal to, is not equal to. So that's a pretty good list of equalities and inequalities. Now let's talk about what a variable is. A variable is any symbol that represents an unknown. You've been working with variables since second or third grade. You might remember 6 plus blank, and you had to write a number in the blank, or 5 minus box equals some number, and you had to figure out what went into the box. Well, those are variables. In algebra, we tend to use a lot more letters than boxes, and there's a reason for that. There are 26 letters to choose from, which gives us a lot of variety. They're easy to make. We're all familiar with all the letters. It's a lot easier to make than a box. And if you have more than one variable in an expression or an equation, I can just say, like, 2x plus 3y, what's the value of y? You know exactly what variable I'm talking about. I don't have to specify box number 1, box number 2. But you can use any symbol, like a star, or I've seen a picture of a dog, or anything, represent an unknown number. So these are all variables. Now we're going to take a look at expressions versus equations and inequalities. Here's an example of a numerical expression, 2 plus 3. It doesn't say what it's equal to. It doesn't have an equal sign. It's just a phrase. 5 times 8 minus 4 is, a, is another example of a numerical expression. If we throw a variable in there, you get a variable expression. And here's another one. Now, if there is an equal sign, and an answer to it, then you have an equation. So 2 plus 3 equals 5 is an equation. All equations have a left side of the equal sign and they have a right side of the equal sign. 2 plus 3 is on the left, 5 is on the right, 2 plus 3 has the same value as 5. This makes it a complete sentence, it's an equation. Here's another example of an equation. If we put a variable in there, we get a variable equation. x minus 4 equals 13. These are also called open sentences because they have a variable. There's a hole in the problem. Here's an example of a numerical inequality. Notice it's got greater than. 9 minus 5 is greater than 3 rather than equal. That makes it an inequality. And 6y minus 4 is less than 8 is an example of a variable inequality. But uh, equations and inequalities are both types of sentences. Expressions are not sentences. If it has a variable in it, then it makes it an open sentence. And we're going to talk a lot more in detail later on about how to solve open sentences. Open sentences usually have solutions and they can be solved. So we're going to identify each of these statements as an expression, a sentence, an open sentence equation, or an inequality. The first one is not an expression because it's got an equal sign. That makes it a sentence. It does have a variable in it, x, so that makes it an open sentence. And it's also an equation because of the equal sign. It's not an inequality. It can't be both an equation and an inequality. It's one or the other. Number two is not an expression. It is a sentence, though, because of the uh, is less than symbol. Uh, it's not an open sentence. It has no variable. It's not an equation. It has no equal sign, but it is an inequality. The third one, 5x minus 2, that's an example of an expression. 
Is it a sentence? No, it has no equal sign or inequality. Is it an open sentence? Some students want to say yes to this because they see the X and it, it is open, but it's not a sentence. So how could it be an open sentence? It's just a variable expression. That's all you can say about it. It's not an equation. It's not an inequality. It's not a sentence. Number four, uh, 6m plus 2 is greater than 3. It's not an expression. It is a sentence. It is an open sentence because of the variable, and it is an inequality.